Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. I thought I'd take a few minutes here to provide those that are interested with an update on that box of engines that I got from a very awesome fellow in Virginia. His name is Ray. So Ray had sent me a box of eight engines that he was no longer needing. And I just wanted to kind of give you an update as to what I've done with these engines and you know what the next steps are with them. So the first engine I'll talk about, he given me a box of eight. Uh, right now I have only five of them in front of me and I'll get to that. Uh, the first one that I'll talk about is this Gen 1 Sato FA65. Now I've already cleaned this thing up, uh, got it running, posted a video, so there's really not a whole lot to talk about there. No real update, uh, you've probably seen the video. This was the OSFS 40 FS, oh, I'm sorry, 40 FS, hi Chloe, I'm not feeding you right now. This is the OS 40 FSR that he had sent. Now it didn't come with a muffler, and this engine was really gummed up. It's been cleaned up, I've replaced the bearings. I actually have run it for about 45 seconds. Obviously I didn't have video going, I just threw it out on the stand just to see if it would run. I need to do a little bit more run time with this thing. I found a, a muffler that wasn't being used that happened to fit it, so that's what I've got on here. Uh, the next engine here is my Sato 80. Uh, <clears throat> this engine cleaned up very nicely. Now this engine probably could have been a box to the bench review because it was probably in a runnable condition, at least I thought it was, and then after I did the disassembly video, which many people have seen, I discovered that the intake manifold was sheared there, which you'll have to go back and watch that video. So this engine has a new intake manifold and new bearings and brand new prop nut and washer, prop washer. So this engine is ready to go. It did not come with an exhaust, uh, but we'll talk about that also in a second. Um, I've got exhaust that I can share. I don't have an exhaust for every engine I've got, unfortunately, but uh, uh, like I said, we'll discuss that a bit further here. <coughs> Next is this Sato FA50 he had given me, which this was a complete engine. It was just, you know, it was a little dirty and just needed to be cleaned up, so I have disassembled it completely, installed new bearings. It, too, is ready to be run. Uh, just haven't got around to doing it yet, so this one will be the subject of a run video here very soon also. <clears throat> that leaves me with this engine. This is the OS40LA engine. Now, I have never really been a fan of the LA series engine. Uh, when I got into the hobby, I was, you know, my first engine I ever bought was a 40FP, and I loved that thing. Um, so when they changed, when they discontinued the FP series and went to the LA series, initially I was kind of excited because I was like, oh wow, these things are pretty. They're blue. You know, the blue engine, you see it in the Tower Hobbies catalog, you're like, ooh, nice. And then you buy one and you find out it comes with a freaking muffler that's this color and doesn't match the engine. Later on in the production, they decided they'd make them all silver again, in addition to selling the blue ones. I've just never been a real fan of the LA. I've never had one on a plane. Um, I'm sure they're fine engines for you know being a plain bearing engine. Uh, I have not done anything with this yet. I have not even attempted to clean it or anything. The only thing I have done is I pulled the glow plug out and just looked at the top of the piston and it looks like it's a pretty low runtime engine. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to put this on the stand and run it or if I'm going to disassemble it, clean it, and then do that. So uh, those of you that like to comment on my videos, uh, let me know which direction you want me to go with this. I'm not in any hurry on this engine. So the choices are just run it like it is, or completely disassemble it, clean it, and let's see what the top of the piston looks like, and then run it. So that's it for those five engines. Now, I got eight originally. Two of the other engines were both OS FS120 four-stroke engines. One looked nearly pristine and never run and I've done several videos on that engine or at least several run videos on it and <clears throat> it was my determination that the regulator was not good on that engine and regulator parts are, are not existent. You can't you can probably make your own but I didn't feel like I wanted to go into that effort to do that. 
I'd already spent $75 on that engine uh, getting a brand new exhaust and the proper prop safety prop nut assembly set for it. Uh, I wasn't willing to do anything else. That engine is probably going to be an excellent runner uh, if somebody just uses a pump. The second of those two was an engine that was just in really bad shape and I completely disassembled it. I think I made a video of that also. It's sitting in a bag. The last of the eight engines was an OS FS61. Now that was kind of a cool engine and I was really excited about that engine. <clears throat> I had it cleaned up. Um, I have since posted a video of it. Uh, but the owner, the, the fellow Ray that sent me those engines, had sent me an email saying, Hey, you know what? I guess what? I found another OSFS 61 in my garage, but it's missing an intake manifold. And he asked me, he's like, do you have an intake manifold uh, for this engine? I said, yeah, I have the intake manifold that's attached to the engine you gave me. So I figured instead of disassembling that engine, I'd just give him the whole engine back. So I sent that engine back to him. I ran it, tuned it first, sent it back. So that engine is no more. That's the story with those eight inches. However, the one OS FS120 Surpass pump that was in pristine condition that I tried to run that I deemed had a bad regulator, I decided to trade with an awesome member of RC groups and in that trade I got this so I traded him that engine straight up for this this just arrived today <coughs> and I hope he's happy with the trade because if not we may be trading back but I know I'm happy with the trade so I didn't expect to get this FA100 engine with a box and everything. I just figured it'd just be an engine because it was a used engine that he had purchased off of RC Universe and there's a whole story that goes along with that but I'm not going to go into that. So anyway, I open the box, I see this manual that's never even been opened before, which is nice. And then here's this engine. Look at this beautiful thing. I mean this engine could pass for new. Now Dave, the guy I got this from, often makes his own velocity stacks, and that's what this is. This has got a homemade velocity stack on this engine, which is kind of cool, and it's got ugh, it's got compression so good that I can't even turn this thing over. Oh, there we go. By hand. So, this is also going to be the subject of at least one video if not more I'm not going to disassemble this engine because Dave has already done a lot of work to this engine to get it into this condition so this is just going to be a run run video but the thing that is kind of leading me to that is it also came with a muffler obviously I mean most engines do came with that needle valve and all the tools so I mean this is awesome so here we go here I'm thinking about having to invest in an exhaust system for this 80 when I have this one here that I can borrow. Now granted it's not period correct to this engine, but it'll at least get me by so I can run it. So that's a cool thing because I was thinking about actually buying one of these, this exact setup online. Uh, I think it's gonna come to like $40 for the adapter, or the this, and then the cast muffler. Um, but I, then I started thinking, well, I've got mufflers. I don't fly all these engines or even fly many things. I don't run them all at the same time, so I could just borrow one. Uh, so for now, when I run this 80, I'll probably just be borrowing this exhaust or maybe the exhaust from one of my others. So that is the update. And the biggest note was that I got this freaking awesome engine in the mail today. And uh, hopefully Dave is just as happy with the 120 Surpass that he... Uh, has on his doorstep today also. So that's the update on that bunch of engines that I got and uh, look for some run videos on some of these engines coming up very soon.